Hi, welcome back to Besame. My name is Shernet Smith and I know you've waited for this story for a long time. So today I am going to be reading you Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. <laughs> Alibaba and the Forty Thieves Long ago in the land of Persia, there lived a poor woodcutter called Alibaba. One day, while he was working in the forest, he saw some horsemen coming his way. They were shouting and making a loud noise, and poor Alibaba knew at once that they were a band of robbers. As quickly as he could, he climbed up the nearest tree and hid among the branches. As they passed close to the tree, Alibaba counted 40 men in all. Suddenly they stopped and got off their horses. The captain of the band walked forward and struck the face of a great rock with his hand. At the same time, he cried in a loud voice, Open Sesame! Strange to say, a door in the rock opened and the men entered what seemed to be a large cave. Alibaba nearly fell off the tree in surprise. This must be the place where the robbers hid their treasure. He watched and waited until they came out. He saw that each man looked very happy and was carrying a heavy bundle. When they had all gone, Alibaba climbed down the tree and went to the rock. He struck it with his hand and cried, Open Sesame! The door in the rock opened and he went forward to peep inside. His eyes and mouth opened wide at what he saw. There were bags of gold and silver and heaps of jewels piled on the floor. Alibaba entered the cave and carried some of the sacks outside. Then he said to himself, how can I take home such a heavy load? Suddenly he remembered his faithful donkey. He had left it tied to a tree while he was cutting and gathering wood in the forest. Alibaba rushed to where the animal was and emptied the baskets of wood. He then led the donkey to the cave. Alibaba put the sacks of treasure into the baskets and carefully shut the door of the cave. He hurried home and hid the bags in a corner of the stable so that no one would know about his lucky discovery. The woodcutter visited the cave several times and always returned with a load of riches. He told his wife and son about the treasure in the cave and they were delighted at his good fortune. At once they made grand plans as to what they would do with their money. So from being a poor woodcutter, Alibaba became the richest man in that part of the country. He built a fine palace and had many servants. The people wondered how he had become rich so quickly. After a time, the robbers returned to their cave. Someone has been here, cried the chief. See, some thief knows our secret and has stolen most of our treasure. We must find him at once and kill him. The robbers hurried away and spied in all the nearby villages. They found out that Alibaba had suddenly become very rich and no one knew how he had got the money. Alibaba must be the thief, cried the captain of the band of robbers. Now we must plan to kill him. Suddenly, he said with a wicked smile, I know how we can do it. You will go to the villages roundabout and bring me 40 mules and 40 large jars. Fill one of the jars with oil, but all the others must be left empty. When this was done, the captain led the way to the fine new palace of Alibaba. He told Alibaba that he was a merchant and wished food and shelter for the night. Alibaba made him welcome and told him to store the jars in the cellar. When the jars had been placed in the cellar, each robber climbed into a jar and hid there. They were to wait in the jars until they got a signal from their master. Alibaba was very kind to the captain and gave him a fine supper in the lovely dining room. While they were eating, Morgiana the maidservant noticed that the lamps needed more oil. 
she went down to the cellar to fetch some. She lifted the lid of the first jar. Is it time? asked the robber inside. No, not yet, replied Morgiana in surprise. Then she said to herself, this must be a wicked plot to harm my master. She raised the lid of the second jar very carefully. This happened to be the one which was full of oil. She filled her jug with oil from the jar and went quickly to the kitchen. There, she heated the oil until it was boiling. Morgiana carefully lifted the jug of boiling oil and tiptoed back to the cellar. So quietly did she return that not one of the robbers heard her. Quickly she ran round all the jars and poured some boiling oil into each of them. What a dreadful noise there was! All the robbers were howling in pain and shouting for mercy. Ali Baba's servants rushed to the cellar to find out what was wrong. When they saw the robbers, they at once attacked and captured them. Some of the servants ran back upstairs and captured the robber chief before he could escape. A few minutes later, the robbers were taken away to prison. Ali Baba was very pleased to see the last of the 40 thieves. He thanked Morgiana for the clever way in which she had saved his life. Not long afterwards, she married his son, and Ali Baba gave them a large part of the treasure as a wedding gift. The end. Wow, I didn't even remember how gruesome this story was until now. Can you imagine pouring hot oil on people? Wow, <laughs> even if they were robbers, right? Anyway, I really hope you liked it. If you did, please remember to click the thumbs up button below and share it with your friends. Also, if you have never subscribed to the channel, please remember to hit the red subscribe. Ensure that it turns to gray and that's all. It is totally free. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Until next time, bye-bye.